Jordan's a good girl. Hey, hey. Good morning. Hey, dog. I was just working on this up. So everybody's all since some of our babies were born um, on the early morning hours of March 8th. What is it? I'm off a day. Today's the 16th, which would have made them all one week yesterday. So ignore everything I just said. Everybody's been a week old for a couple days now. Um, I just want to strip down some of the blankets underneath here. Sorry for the slow going this morning. Only a couple of weeks, Drew and I had to run a town in the early morning. Remy really got cozy last night. She really, yeah. Oh, do you not remember like her doing her thing at midnight? Yeah. Before she was. Remy, she's like pom pom. She loves her blankets. Which is why we're doing this instead of the nest. Because if you followed Pom Pom and her puppies, you may remember our um, futile efforts at trying to make a nest for her puppies. She would just lift them up and send them flying. She would claw at their nest, at their little, their little nest to try to make it into a bed. Nice and cozy. We're going to need a new blanket. And we already need to do baths again. So at first I was like, oh, this is frustrating. But then I remember that Joe wasn't on when we did baths. So that's okay. We can redo baths. And then that way we'll do it when Joe's on. And so then we'll do baths. And then we'll change the blankets and all that good stuff. We'll do it like we did yesterday. We're gonna get some quick weights on them. Good morning, Michelle and Vicki. How are you? Good morning, Jan and Mike and Sue. Not as accurate on the soft surface. Holy smokes, 444. So she's going to ounces because she's almost an even pound. Holy smokes. You guys are officially our heaviest litter. She is 15.7 ounces. 15.5 ounces. Yeah, 15.5 and we're not wiggling. Hey James, good morning, Nisho. I'm just going to call for 16 ounces. Thirteen point five ounces. Let's get square ounces here. Three eighty. Oh yeah, that is a huge jump for orange. Four, 
Cutie went up um, 50, 50 grams. So we're moving them over to ounces and pounds because grams are gonna be just too difficult. Um, we only really use grams because they're so light at birth that going by ounces isn't enough. Um, it's not enough to, to know if they're starting to lose or how well they're, see how well they're gaining because it's just not, um, they're just so small. We need a smaller unit of measurement. 15.3, 15.3 ounces on peanut. Oh, you're getting so cute. Let's get your going out real quick. 28. So actually for an example, Cutie was 15.7 ounces and Peanut, oops, Peanut um, is 15.3 ounces. So they're 0.7, or I'm sorry, yeah. They're like half an ounce off, but by grams, They're 14 grams off from each other, so it's a lot easier to see um, changes in their weights. But now that they're bigger, those changes aren't, or those those little numbers aren't as important. All right, Snowflake, you are not the, oh, you are so cute. Somebody's ear was was um, folded back in the womb. It's so cute when it does that. It wasn't. Instead of being like that in the room. Let's go back. 352, we're going to call it. All right, let's see how many ounces we are. 12.3 ounces. Are you trying to climb out? All right, blueberry. Three hundred and eighteen. Three hundred and eighteen. He's doing good. I'm really, he had he had a, like a little blip in his weights. Eleven point three. He had a little blip in his weights and um. We always, we always kind of mod for that stuff, but there's always just like in the back of our head, just real nervous that there's something bigger going on. And so it's just really nice to see that it's just a hiccup, just a little blip. Um, who are we missing? Kiwi. Their, their chestnut is so dark, it's so pretty. 14.8. 418 grams. He's so stinking cute. It's hard to see because he's got this extra thumbprint, but this first thumbprint right here is a perfect little thumbprint. He's got a perfect little print. He's a good boy. Can you see how he's got his tongue sticking out? <laughs> he's a good boy. There we go.
they're all almost a pound. Mm. Yeah, so like at, um, oh, they're a week old. we have, um, you know, different like books and resources about what, what we should see. And there's this one that is really common among breeders. It's like the Bible of, um, it's the Bible reference and it's called the book of the bitch. And unfortunately we haven't been able to locate it recently. Um, <clears throat> but according to the book of the bitch, um, they should double their birth weight when they're about a week old. Now our Cavalier puppies, they're almost always born so light that it's kind of, it's almost unrealistic for them to double their birth weight by a week. We're usually happy to just see that they're working um, their way up to that point. You know, if they're halfway to doubling it, then we are more than happy. Um, so this is our first group to not just to double their birth weights, but to do really, really well. Well, actually maybe they're so big at birth that they didn't quite double them, but they're really, Close me. I got their actual birth weights on another sheet of paper. Um, but yeah, I think they're right about doubling their birth weights, and that's um, that's what we like to see. But we almost never see it, and so even in healthy puppies, so they're strong and feisty. Oh. You are so precious. Precious puppies. Her face is just like. Ugh. She's going to look just like Remy. The only difference, and it's a cute difference, is that the markings on her face by her nose are going to look kind of like it's going to have that Paris D nose. Won't look, except that because she has her blaze, it won't uh -huh. complete the circle. Right. Um, but like Remy has the brown on one cheek right here, but on the other side it comes back and where she's got it on both sides. Oh, snowflake, snowflake, snowflake. How cute, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Holy cow. Shit. <laughs> How cute she is. They get so cozy. Cozy about this, cozy, cozy. And they love to stick their tongues out. <laughs> Hi there, Jamie. Good morning, Stu and Peggy. Dan, hi, how are you? Hi there, Ash. You wouldn't know that we gave him a bath yesterday. I know, that's what's sad. Cheese covered in poop. Joe won't be sad, though. He'll be happy here. I've got to get balanced again. I'm kind of, I'm actually a little not disappointed about that. I was so disappointed that he missed him. All right, coffee. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to go, um, get, uh, you know, that one done. Paris. Oh, oh. oh wait, where's mine? Outside. Oh. My, oh, speaking of which, was it all that? So right here. Get her special. Special birthday. Yeah. Probably her, wondering what her steak is. Her remnants. She's such a good doggy. Remy's like a puppy that never grew up. Yeah, I don't know. Well, she's grown up now. She seems much well, but she's like her personality. She like she just she's in heaven now. She's got puppies to hang out with all the time. Love you. Hang out on your neck of my pod. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, nice catch. Mm -hmm. but, I love you.
just for anyone who might be wondering. We usually have a potty tray off to the side for a Remy, but what we did was, let me show you here, we moved it. You can see it right past my purse there. It's right across the way so that she doesn't have to go far. Um, we moved it out there so that it's like basically within eyesight from right here. So if she has to go, it's right there. She's really awesome about using it because sometimes they get so used to the tray being in one spot, like a toilet, that um, even when we move it, they'll still go back to that spot looking for it. And so we've been really impressed that she is taken to it just kind of in randomly in the middle of the room. All right, Ernie. You want your steak and kibble? I know. That's such a good dad. Gives you food. Yes, yes, there's your steak and kibble. You gotta hurry up and pick all that steak out of there. And the babies are like, not so fast, mom. You've been gone for a minute, so we can do the dust first. Except they all have very full bellies, so they can't possibly be hungry. You can't possibly be hungry. Uh, we've been talking last week or so about how these puppies are gonna be on the bigger side. Um, something I'm noticing with their weights uh, too is that um, we can kind of see which ones have like, um, so let me just explain. So Blueberry, for example, um, he's gonna be a bigger Cavalier, you know, kind of like Remy, but I don't think he caught like as much of the Macchiato bulk, or maybe he caught some Macchiatos and not Remy's. But like um, Cutie and um, Peanut even um, are a little bit bigger than you know what we're we usually see. Um, our Cavaliers overall are on the smaller side. You know, if the average weight is 15 to 18 pounds, our Cavaliers are all between like 12 and 15, with the exception of um, Macchiato and Remy. Um, but so Blueberry, what I was gonna say is that Blueberry. His um, rate of growth is a little bit more consistent with the puppies we have that um, that go home at like three and a half pounds and grow up to be like 14, 15 pounds. And so um, he's like a nice big healthy weight, but he's not growing like nearly as rapidly as the others. And he's, um, if you compare like his body to them, the others are bigger bones. They seem to be just have a little bit bigger structure. Um, I've mentioned before about how their their weights are, are good and they're heavy, but they're not chubby. And so that tells us that um, they just it's in their in their size. But of the boys anyway, um, I think blueberry is gonna be we've been talking about how big they'll all be, but I think blueberry um, will not be as big as the other ones. Oh my goodness, snowflake, you just had to pooey. Oh yeah. Snowflake taking dookie. Oh, that is a stinky pooty. Stinky pooties.
Um, so macchiato is macchiato is about twenty two pounds. Um, Remy is eighteen when she's like her standard normal self. Um, and so I wouldn't think any of them would be up to twenty five. I think that I think like maybe. Um, let's see. So I think the girls will just be like big for girls, kind of like Remy. So the, like Cutie will probably be um, just about Remy's size. Um, I think Snowflake, she's gonna be a little bit smaller. Her rate of growth isn't as, isn't as fast as Cutie's. Kind of like um, how Blueberry has been. Uh, Remy's a big girl, but she's got a lot of leg. And she's tall. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good boy. But so the girl is like cutie. If she's gonna be big for a girl, I'd probably pin her to about like 18-ish pounds as an estimate, probably right where mom is. Um, the boys that are a little bit bigger will probably be like that closer to that 20 pounds. Um, and then blueberry, I think will probably just be like a more standard 18, more standard for males. Because he's his, his head size is also, um, we look at their head size and then their paw size. If you're ever looking at a dog that's like um, whose age is unknown, but they know that like they're an older puppy, you know, like a year old or so. Um, if you look at their paws and their paws are proportionate to their bodies and they're probably about done growing. But if you look at their paws and their paws are giant, they're not yet done growing. And when I say giant, I mean like in proportion to their bodies. They can have giant paws and be done growing. I just mean like, you know, relative to, relative to their current size. Oh no, Snowflake, she just up and left. That was so not nice. Did you get all your steak already? That didn't do very much this morning. Sweet thing. Come here, baby. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. It's a good girl. It's a girl. Good morning, Kathy. Oh, thanks, Jan. It's filthy right now. <laughs> Girl, you are such a good girl. You want to get the poopy on her for a bit? Over there. Huh? How did you guys get so filthy overnight? What did you do? I think they went out partying or something outside. Oh, Mr. Orange. I love how dark their coloring is. Their color gonna be so pretty. The brown always gets darker. Oh, sweet thing, what is the matter, my dear? Hi, bye. 
good morning. Oops, good boy. Oh, you just wanted to be held. Oh, he just wanted to be picked up. Oh, sweet boy. Blueberry was over here fussing, and I just came and picked him up, and he stopped as soon as I picked him up, and now he's just Aww. snoozing. Oh, yeah. Blueberry is a people doggy. He really is a people doggy. Can we keep doggy. him? He's such a good boy. Oh, look how sweet he is. Sorry, I tried to get him in the camera while twisting my body around. Boy. I love when they do that when they're, I mean, I don't love when they're unhappy, but when they're unhappy and mom is tending to someone else and we pick them up and they just get comfortable and, and that's just, that's all they needed was just a little bit of contact comfort. He's a good baby. He's a good baby. You have very good babies. Oh, Blueberry, you are so precious. I want to keep you. I'm going to spin around. So that it's He's doing really, really well. We had a wonky weight, but I think that the scale wasn't zeroed um, correctly, or like it had been zeroed on a on a poor surface, um, because we did a bunch of weights kind of following that. And if we were to put if we were to like put them on a graph, it would be like out of the the one that concerned us would be kind of it would be an outlier. So, um, and he's been gaining since and. Nursing well, his nose is nice and pink. If he had like an underlying heart issue that um, was like, um, it's word interfering with his ability to grow, we would see his nose starting to purple because, um, especially um, during and after feedings, because while feeding, if they have a heart condition while feeding, it becomes, they, they're unable to oxygenate very well. And so we have a little pulse ox that we, if we need to check their oxygenation, we shave their tails and we just slip the pulse ox on their tails. It's the same one that you put on your finger at the doctor's office. We shave their tails or even their paws. We just shave it down and then it works just the same which has been a handy little tool if for anything but just peace of mind to know that they are oxygenating and that they're breathing all right. You know, the unfortunate thing with puppies is that as advanced as medicine is for, for dogs and puppies, they, um, you know, we don't have a whole lot of monitoring devices. You know, like during, while she's whelping, uh, with people, you always have the monitors on the baby while mom's in labor. So while she's whelping, we've got, um, you know, multiple puppies inside and puppies that, that, that's being delivered. We don't have any sort of way of monitoring, knowing, you know, how their heart is pumping, if there's any cord issues. If, um, and so we have to, we have to go by a lot of assessment. And so it could be tricky. And that's why we try to be really careful when, um, when we see uh, something like a like a wonky weight. We try to be really watchful of that, just because we when they're born we're, we we kind of go into it a little bit blind. If there's any puppies that have problems, Ooh. since we don't have that those sorts of the the means to monitor prenatally like we have for people. Oh, 
<laughs> Nancy, your vet must love how educated you are. You're so funny. I doesn't feel like I'm that we're that educated, but <laughs> we have done, um, we've done our best to educate ourselves. The, I didn't know though. I I was said I think it was earlier today or yesterday or um, but I mentioned that um, I was talking to the the vet clinic yesterday and we were talking about their prenatal vitamins and they were like, "You're not giving them people vitamins, are you?" I was like, why would I be, I wouldn't give them people like, and, um, she said that she had never heard of, she's never had a breeder giving their dogs prenatal vitamins. This is what we use for dogs. Remy hates them. The other dogs love them. You ready for your prenatal? But it's, um. We used to use a different brand, and then we found came upon this brand. It's like just it's either a little bit more expensive or it was slightly less expensive. But it's the stuff it has in it has a whole lot more. Good girl. No. No. <laughs> Do I need to hold your mouth shut again? You need your vitamin, sweetie. Girl, vitamins. good girl. Take your vitamins. Good girl. Chew it up, swallow it down. Good girl. <laughs> Learn to like hold her lips shut yeah. <laughs> so she can chew with her mouth closed. Good girl. Good girl. Her <laughs> her once the tongue starts coming out, <laughs> now she's got it. Oh, yeah. Don't we need more light to make it clear? Yeah. How did we do that yesterday? Um, we did have other lights on. I don't want to turn on the overhead because it feels like we're in an office building. Uh, yeah. We need to change out those bulbs. Sorry, I need to get Let's see if the uh, different colors. The window is probably too much. It just like washes them out. Yeah, oh, that kind of brightens up the room. <laughs> this is probably not puppy, but it brightens up our room. Get the other, uh, I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, little Miss Cutie is, is helping wash out the <laughs> the image with all of her white. <laughs> uh, the little cutie patootie. Uh, Oh, I would say I should put it you know, right there and have it like from another spot. Come on. That one is that stand is so much better. I know. I like that one. I like that one. This one is a little too, uh, yeah. It feels like something that I hung on to since I was seven. Do you have a, a double USB? <laughs> That's a funny question. <laughs> oh, wait. That's a really funny question because the only one I have is right here. Yay. <laughs> okay, that so. never happens. All right. So we're going to lose light for a second, folks. Quite a lot. Oh, look, the, the blanket looks a little bit cleaner. Maybe we want to leave the lights <laughs> off. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. We'll change the blanket. Sometimes they look like little piglets. You're right. They do look like little piglets. That is what they look like. They are little piglets. With their pink little noses. Oh, that's perfect. Little their white little faces. Okay, let's see if it's... Hmm. My nose is itchy. Okay, did you plug it in? I did. <laughs> did you unplug it? Well, the only issue is that sometimes uh, these guys, that thing might not be provided enough power to it. I don't know. You, you, it was like a lightning strike. 
cutie has become a son. <laughs> She's still a son. <laughs> Just turn. I turn it down all the way. It's weird though. It's not turned up. Well, that's weird. I don't think it's providing a, enough juice. Oh, the strip just can't. Oh wait, that money. Someone's been chewing oh, on it. Oh, a puppy chewed it. We should have known. Should have known. Let me yeah. turn this one down. Can you turn it down? So it's like, is it causing a reflection? Oh, what is it? I would say go all the way down and then go up. It's just so bright. It is so bright. Yeah, it's, uh, it's control. Just turn it all the way down. And then... There we go. That's good. Uh, Still a little reflective. Maybe we just put one over here. I was just saying, we'll move that one over there. Whichever one has the longer cord, we put oh, it over yeah, there. Oh, yeah, that's one. We're just going to move inside. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hold on. So, let's say it like only has to. Which one's got the one? Does one, does one of them have a longer cord, you know? I don't think so. I think they're the same. There we go. Getting them on both sides. Don't turn the, that one's oh, good. That, it, that one adds orange. Um, it adds a little bit of ambiance. Um, just the... Good morning, John. Chocolate milk bar. <laughs> where, where did I put this one? Get this one lower. Uh, Cindy, you're so funny. She says, I'm way back at the beginning of the stream for the weights, but this litter is all a pound already at a week old, and Louis was two pounds when I picked him up at eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> for comparison's sake. Just for comparison. Thank you, Cindy, for chiming in. I was trying to <laughs> explain Louis Louis. What how they how big they are compared to what we're used to. Louis is such a good dog. He is so pretty. Yeah, Louis so is nice. very pretty. Cindy okay. is He's a handsome boy. Um, do you want to explain? Yeah. Oh, man, I just had a whole bunch of... Oh, no, 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's good then. I know, but it's just stressful. I hate to disappoint people. We need to know who's going away. Sit and drink your coffee with me. I am. Just so everyone is aware, uh, today is reservation day for oh. for this group, and so we just kind of wanted to say from the beginning that we know that there is uh, a lot of joy in this day, and there's also a lot of heartache. Uh, because unfortunately we've only got six puppies for probably 70 families. Yeah, I was going to say uh, a tenfold families that are, are wanting a, a puppy. So uh, we, we know that there, for every one puppy, there's going to be 
probably roughly nine families that's going to be disappointed. Or if they are going to be disappointed, soon. it's terrible. Thing. But the silver lining to all of that is that we're going to be having another litter not too long, you know, after this. There will be more puppies coming. So yeah. we're not. This is not our only litter for the year or or upcoming. For the year, I was just yeah, you know, yeah. in the you know near distant future. Sort of. I would just say the near future. Uh, well, I mean, like you know, not near distant as in like you know, not right now, but soon now, like yeah. you know, whenever our. Whenever one of our other ladies decides to that it's time for her her ovulation time. Oh. We're always so we're so happy for the families that we love reservation day and we, we have a love hate relationship with it. And we love it because we just we're so happy for families, especially if they've been waiting for a couple of litters and yeah. Um, it's a really, really awesome day for those families, but on the other hand, it's really, really hard for those families that have their hearts set on a particular puppy or a particular couple of puppies, um, and they miss out, and so that's always really hard, <clears throat> but, um, for those families, we'll be in touch with them, and, um, if, if you are a family who um, ends up waiting until our next litter, um, we'll be giving you all those sorts of details when, um, once we know which, which families those are, um, we'll be giving you more details so that you can kind of know what's going on. And if you are looking to get a, a pup from this litter, um, I'm sure Elizabeth has been over with you about, you know, send us your first pick, your second pick, your third pick. Um, but please send us, you know, the picks of puppies that you... Only send those picks if that's a backup that you would want. Yeah. That we you do would... that so that you don't lose your place in line if if your, your first pick is already chosen. That way we don't have to go back to you because Heather can tell you how, like, heartbreaking that was. No. Um, that's why we have you do the picks because we don't want you to have to go back and then think about this other puppy and do we want this other puppy and then um, lose out on that puppy. And so that's why we ask you to have uh, kind of put them in order so that if your first isn't available, then um, okay. if you have a, there's a second one you have in mind that you would love just as much, then we can match you to that one instead of chancing that one getting scooped up and you lose your place in line. Because yeah, um, with uh, Paris's litter, we had some people just rank the puppies, you know, one through three, and unfortunately they weren't able to get one, their first or second pick. And so we were like, okay, well, you get your third pick. And then they were like, oh, well, well we, we, don't want we didn't even want that one anyway. So we'll just wait until the next litter. So please just, you know, just send us your picks for puppies that you will take home, I guess. that's And, the light, and on the other side of that coin, if you just want, we had a family, um, Theo's mom, she was like, I'll just take any of them. And so if that's how, if like, that's kind of, um, where you are, if you just wanted, you're just looking for, um, a Cavalier puppy. It doesn't have to be a boy or a girl or, um, anything like that. You can just rank them in order from one through six. Um, that one should be very helpful if, uh, if we had a couple of those. No, you stay there. You stay there. So, so you're supposed to see me. No, Theo's first trip to the vet. Oh, <gasps> oh, Theo. And he got to play with his new snuffle mat. Aww. Guess which one it is. Is it? It's the, the junior one, so oh, the one yeah. that is on the way to yeah, us. Yeah, it's got little bones in it. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, It's perfect uh, for, like, one puppy. Isn't that perfect? It's a perfect size. I, now I see why everyone says they look so much bigger because <laughs> the videos that we keep getting of him, he looks like he's full grown in the in the photo. Yeah, They're he looks like, very. Yeah. It's like, well, he just went home, so. He hasn't grown that much. Why? 
that's really it's like a nice little supple mat. Although looking at it, we might want to get like a replacement of the other one too, because yeah, it has like size. it's like two sides. Yeah. Whereas this one, it's almost it's just like one one, one, stuff like one big one. What's the green on the on the left? Though? I think it's just like some bush. Oh, cool! Some hedges. Some hedges. <laughs> Theo is just always wagging his tail. I don't... Yes. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, if you're watching, we really hope that... Uh, oh, he's, he's she said she was going to watch these guys. Yeah, yeah, she said that she was going to put them on the TV for Theo so that he could hear our voices. And... Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah, she asked if we would FaceTime him, too. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, kind of like the reverse what you guys did for me, but kind of to help him with his transition. She kind of her. She's like, yeah. Are you being a good boy, Theo? <laughs> I hope that you're being a good boy for your mom. Just think. Oh my. Who is the. That blueberry? I think it's Snowflake. I say it's blueberry. Oh, you're right, it's blueberry. I don't know why, because he's like actively nursing. What is he fussing about? I think it's probably happy. He's doing oh, his, well, his, he's doing his, happy his full belly sing song. Um. Full belly happy sing song. Oh, yeah, that's something we haven't really talked to um, the live about is that. So it took some time for us to realize, but um, a lot of their cries are not like upset cries. Like that right there, this. That's a happy cry. He's in heaven right now. He's just like, oh, yeah, this is wonderful. Like, what is Kiwi? Are you okay, Kiwi? <laughs> so I've talked before about how they turtle on their backs. If they fall on their backs, they have trouble getting back up. You're such a cool girl. He's a show. happy blueberry. It's like at her. She's just upside down. No, she's upside down. <laughs> Kiwi. She has such a personality. I love it. She's such a good girl. <laughs> he's got the double mint nipple. So maybe he's like, why isn't there milk coming out of both of these? Are you on the one that works? Poor Remy's got all these hickeys around her. I know, around her nipples. I know. This is so fun. She's just like. She's just upside down and now. Yeah, Kiwi's, she's upside down, just sinking. And Kiwi is now on her neck. And Remy could not be any happier. That's what I love. She's our happiest mama dog. She's like a, our happiest dog being mama dog. <sighs> he's using her little boob as a step. As a step? Yeah, he's got one foot hiked up on it, trying to crawl up. Now the other foot's going. Come see up here. Oh, come so through. Because he do the watch snuggles. Yeah, I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. I was freezing last night. I kept pulling her over to me. No sneaky noodle. Oh, dude, noodle. I got you. Sneaky noodle. Oh, oh. Man, she's been like licking her butt or something. Uh, I wouldn't say that it smells like, um, like poop. poop. It smells more like. But. Uh. You are a fuzzy, stinky doggy. Oh my gosh, look at what she did. She is so, see what's in the back of his carrier? 
Oh, his, uh, paperwork. His folder with all his paperwork ready to give to the vet. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. God, I wish she was closer by. I know. She has to be like on the other side of the country. I guess it's us in the middle of the country. But, ah. Uh, I love our families. I've been really lucky. You make me so happy, Jason. Oh, I put them away so that she didn't go trying to. Oh, down. she'll leap down. I, I, I would rather, so I don't want her to leap. I'd rather she eat her little legs. I don't want her to stress her legs. Put over here. Ah. Good idea. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, we did um, do this from the start, but we could not recommend more the doggy stairs uh, for your Cavaliers because uh, we we ordered the the little the doggy stairs for our bed because so many of our dogs sleep in bed with us. Um, but we got them, one of these guys, we got them so that the dogs weren't jumping off of our bed and jumping off the couch and landing on their poor little knees with their risks for, um, you know, knee problems and hip problems. And so, um, once we, once we got those stairs, the dogs only use those for the most part. For the most part. We can we can pull them away from the bed or the couch and they will stay on the bed or you know off the bed. But um, it's always good to start with something like if you have something like that to use it early before they can start developing problems. Um, just because launching off of beds and furniture over many years that really wears on them. So it's a good way to protect the knees. She's like still. She's like, I can't believe how well he uses the potty tray. Except for my dinner, he's so excited. She, like, she's just. I'm so sad that she doesn't have something to be doing this way. I know. Be nice for her to have her partner there doing it. I'm sure we're not the only people who got this picture. Yeah. Kind of funny is how many families come back after their first vet visit to say how much their yeah how the puppies how the vets said that they're such a good dog or yeah. see I really like I would like to send all of our puppies home this way I like that we we have his series of shots done mm -hmm. and so then when she takes them to the vet like vaccinations are complete as far as that's concerned and then um they don't have to have that like if you visit with their new vet their new family yeah and like the series shot. is completed and yeah. so it's like kind of like the microchip where it's like they leave without it it's like yeah but i would like to start doing that so we do our for their first shot um 42 days old when they can start receiving it and then because they need that two weeks in between and then do it when they get picked up you know, the series is completed. I'm not quite sure where you are trying to go, buddy.
trying to figure out who's crying. Hey, buddy. You're not hungry, so you just want snuggles? But mama would love to snuggle. <laughs> no, that's not it. Can you hear you snuggle? Spin her a little. There we go. Do you have Devin's phone number? Do I have this phone number? Devon's. That's who that's, that's, that dad sent the thing at 945. I'm sending 15 minutes ago. He sent like 12 pictures. Oh. And yeah. there's six people on it. Oh, dang, I better get on my mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah. Dang, just already. Mine's taking forever. So you got PMD. You got. That's what dad sent to himself. Or no, it's because he sent it. Tim and these two numbers down here, and I'm trying to figure out who is who. Did you already look at them? No, they're not loaded. Oh, they're not loaded. Okay. Goodness. Now I see what Blueberry's issue was. He just needed to poo. Oh no. Yeah, he really needed to poo. Joe's gonna be so happy that we have to get that again. Yeah, again. Is it a big one? It's a big one. Like for me. In fact, I'm not even gonna she's
Duh. Orange is so happy right now. This is a lot of puppy poop. If you, th if you think that like laundry gets bad when you have kids, having kids and puppies is like <laughs> laundry everywhere. It's like when they get pooey on the blanket. Remy's not very, she doesn't like, she doesn't dig it out of the blanket like the other moms do. Right. The other moms clean the blanket. Yeah, the other yeah. moms are, are lifting it up. And getting Snowflake shirt. is like, I know it's reservation day. Everybody look at me. Oh. Did you check out my puppy, my puppy profile? Look at the match.com with puppies. <laughs> I bet you on the other like, there, like, just knowing what's going on. All right, exactly. Because she's really smart like that. Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't know. You didn't notice. I saw. Yeah. Um, we have a 16 and a 14 year old son that I don't want to find out that mm -hmm. we need to more work to out child support payments for before they're 18. So. <laughs> I grab some condoms. Yeah. But it's not going to be without a big talk. Yes, agreed. Like, this isn't just for me to go and just be like, I'm four so now. Like, ideally, this will just go bad. <laughs> yes, ideally. It, ideally, it'll just, it'll just go bad. Remain in your wallet until there's nothing left of it. No, you never put condoms in your wallet. No, no right, right. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I grabbed my lunch. First, I was thinking of Philip, and then I was like, hey, I've already got any. Yeah. He's not quite there yet with age. His attitude. Attitude. Yeah. Is. Risky. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so totally. yeah, yeah, he's one of these good stories. After that, and I'll be like, that's over here, so. Kind of like the bottles. You bring those back? <laughs> oh, no, gosh, no, don't bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> Just let us know. I imagine, like, it probably wouldn't even be used in an expensive way to put it in. Right. Like, mm -hmm. make, make balloons. Yeah. Here, I'll take them. Yeah. I've got a safe place for them. Yeah, I know you have a safe place for all that stuff. This yes. man does not. Yes, exactly. But, yeah, that's. I had like that funny moment and I was just like, there's a, like a chance to grab something like that. And um, they weren't gonna be, you know, it just so happens that we were visiting there mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And so it was, like, it hit me in the stomach and I was just like, oh, I just have a feeling. This, so, this is good. Oh, you know what? I need to order that. I don't want to go back and be like, like I knew when I was standing there and then, no. 
office. I just knew that I needed to be a responsible parent. Can you put them in here? <laughs> oh, it's my fault. Let's describe condoms. <laughs> Symbol. There it's good. Why add all that bulk? Oh, I guess it protects it a little bit. Yeah, I'll protect it. Okay, I got an idea. Hush. Oh, and don't worry, Peggy. Bella will be back soon. She'll be back and singing her heart out <laughs> right here very, very shortly. When did she come back? Uh, did, you get, did you get her when you trade built her? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're such a good girl, Vienna. You're a good girl, Remy Dog. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, no. Excuse me. Vienna, puppy. Excuse me. You are being a little stinker. All Paris's puppies have really long ears. No. It's so pretty. Steve's no. ears, I think, are the longest, and they're... Awesome. Hey. I can take you back. They were having a grand old time in the kitchen. You are so big. You are so big. Little Miss Vienna is petite. You gotta take her phone call. Oh, sweet, they are like, this isn't. Most puppies aren't this, <laughs> this docile. Yeah, sweet and lovable. Sweet docile. You know that it's a little bit lovable. Daisy's like, get them out of here. Get them out of here. I do not like puppies when I am trying to relax <laughs> the queen.
So which one did you say you thought was better? Oh, this first one, right? Okay. Yeah, that one that kind of looked like a barber. Like barber? No, oh, it just looked like it would hold better. You look so miserable in the um. Thing? Yeah, you look like you're gonna go play hockey. <laughs> I'm serious. It's really not that bad. Mr. Blueberry. Do you want a little fussy purchase today, huh? Do a little fussy purchase? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Is it mom? They were so pretty after their baths and they were all fresh and clean and they're, now they're back to not, be, not being so fresh. And remember how their fur was like super sleek and silky yeah. soft. Snowflake over so that Blueberry's head can land on someone. There he goes. He just, he was tired. He just needed to be put to sleep. Another funny thing about the puppies is that sometimes when they're really fussy, we'll find that like kind of like him where not hungry, you really need to poop, he already pooped. Um, but like we'll cradle them and just be petting them or humming to them, and then they fall asleep, and it turns out like all they really needed was to be put down for a nap. And so <laughs> Sir Kiwi over here is gonna start up. It amazes me like how similar they are to human babies, just because um, human babies, when they're that young, they're just going all purely by instinct. They don't, um, yeah, everything that they're doing is just response to what their brain is telling them. And so it's the same for the puppies. And so we see a lot of the same or similar behavior and a lot of similar things work. What works for our human babies works for our, our doggy babies. Keeping my spot warm. Wait, what? Ava fifteen very gift card. Don't do that, that's nice. We have to change that. So it's all good. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, of course I didn't know how to undo that. It was just automatic. I was just trying to like take it out of the account. Mm -hmm. I'm just Mm. 
It's blueberry. <laughs> hey, it's why can't I make you happy? <laughs> hey, mom. I know it's late and you're tired. It's late. <laughs> well, probably in her mind, it's still uh, late time. <laughs> I remember having a week old baby. Yeah, true. Especially if they act like this. Reindeers. <laughs> 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 Blueberry is colicky. You know, I wonder if there's got. If there's you a know, dog. all mammals, it's got to be yeah. some sort of like equivalent, you know, because they're still. There's a doggy you color. know, they were, well, they were born, you know, and all they were digesting was amniotic fluid, and now they're now they're digesting real stuff, just like babies digesting breast milk. Mm -hmm. They get colic. I wonder if that's a thing. We should look into that. Puppy colic? Yeah. I'm just curious because. Oh, Remy, you're so sweet. Oh, Remy, you're so fine. So fine. You're going on. Hey, Remy. Hey, Remy. I'm starting to wonder if the brown right here is going to come all the way around, if it's going to meet. Oh, good day. I can see that from over here. It's a lot easier to see on the computer. <laughs> That's a big photo booth. Got to change the blanket. Aww. He finally found his happy place. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> oh, Nisha. No, he's fine. <laughs> I really think he needs a nap. I know that sounds silly, but look at him now. See, he was fussing, crawling around, couldn't get comfortable, and now he's with mom, got cozy, and now he's happy. So I think he just needed a nap. I know that sounds crazy and silly and probably a little ridiculous, but they're mammals just like we are, and there's that's how it's kind of how babies are. It's kind of how they behave, I guess I should say. Just a similar behavior pattern. Gosh, I love how dark his chestnut is. He might be darker than Remy. Peanut too. And Snowflake is going to be really pretty about her as her face is really dark and then the color in her body is more mottled and so it's going to have like several shades. Minnie, um, Minnie from Paris's litter, she had that same sort of mottled. Hello. 
You know, I think I earthling, um, that actually, I was noticing that too. As they get closer to opening their eyes, that seal starts to thin a little bit. And so he may be on the earlier side of opening his eyes. Goodness gracious, he's so vocal. He's even annoying Rummy, poor guy. Rummy, it's okay. Probably putting him right in your ear is not gonna help. It was annoying you before. Get cozy, honey. Get cozy. Oh, very interesting, Sue. Sue says that um, for a horse friend, colic is actually really common. Oh. Hmm. Rio and Vienna, actually, I had them in here not too long ago, but they are in the kitchen hanging out with Paris and Pom Pom and some of the other dogs. We're in our bedroom right now. The puppies, the newborn puppies, we, we bought them in our bedroom and just kind of keep them in here to keep them away from the the light and the noise and the chaos and the other dogs. Good morning, Diana. I can see when a mes message pops up from you far away because I recognize your emoji pattern so well. I love it. It's it's like um, tagging your bags at the airport for for the luggage pickup, baggage claim. Good morning, Diana. I guess it's afternoon for you. It's definitely afternoon for you. But good afternoon to you and Kelly. Says everyone is so in love with Theo. So in love with Theo? At the vet. Oh, at the vet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what did they say? Mm -hmm.
reasonable estimate and what the ratio questions they usually have. Uh -huh.
do you know what uh, car, like civilian car, is uh, recognized by uh, the Guinness World Records as having the most miles ever driven on it? Volvo, oh, awesome. Volvo 1800. Be that a Toyota. Yeah, Volvo 1800 had over 3.5 million miles on Ooh, it. Oh, jeez. What was it? It was after it. The next one after yeah. that? I don't know. Uh, there's, I watched a, a video that was talking about this. It was a Volvo. It was, they talked about how they, there was a, it was a video um, where I was, uh, Oh my god, my mind just went completely blank. Oh, when I was telling you about the whole symbol for iron and copper, mm -hmm. it was from that video too. The guy was talking about how um, the engine that they put in that Volvo 1800 back in the 1960s was so under stress that that's why it just went for forever. Hmm. It's because they, they like overbuilt it and then they understressed it. So it's got, it's so reliable and so uh, hardy. That that's why it just lasts for the, At one and a half million miles, the owner pulled the engine out to take a look at it, and everything was completely fine. Like there was absolutely nothing wrong with the car, or nothing hmm. wrong, wrong with the engine. Stuff, so it's
Can you drink the water around me? Hey, buddy boy. What's your man? Away right now. Let's get some nails clipped since they're so long. My goodness, their little talons. Poor Remy dog. Oh, mama. Poor little mama. Remy. Oh, I know who you mean. Oh, you heard me talk. Come on, Remy. I thought you were Daisy jumping in here. Good boy. We got one more 
nail. We got one more nail. There we go. There we go. Nice and trimmed. Nice and trimmed. Let's do cutie next. She's a strong girl. She's strong. Nursing is not going to be half as painful now, right? You okay? You a slip? I think Mr. Blueberry wants some love. Good girl, cutie. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. So they can't hear us right now, but they can understand like the tone and the um the um you know like they would know if there's anger, they can sense all that sort of stuff. And so even talking nicely and sweetly to them while they might not be able to hear what we're saying, they know that um, they know it's positive and comforting. Let's track where we were. We get talking and then I just track. Oh, you're such a good girl. I saw that it's not rocket you just blew out. I saw that. I know you're very ladylike. You wouldn't blow snot rockets. Oh my goodness, Remy, you're just on top of blueberry. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. I see his I see where his anxiety is coming from. Don't weedy. Don't we boy? You're a good girl, Remy. You're a good girl too, Daisy. Blueberry, my goodness. What is the matter? We put the cranky pants today. Let's like finish nails. We'll snowball. Mm. She got poop. She got poop coming out. <laughs> So tell me. Let's get all that out. Good girl, Remy Dog. Once I clip nails, I'm gonna grab blueberry and I'm just gonna snuggle him. I think he's got a full belly. He's not hungry. You can fill up a little bit. Not totally full. I'll have him eat while I do nails and then I'm gonna snuggle him. Let him get some sleep. I think he needs a nap. Are we all good? You get the poop? Good job, Remy. Good girl. 
I know it took you a minute to warm up to eat your poop. Which is funny because she eats all the poop in the yard. Okay, I'll take her. You move this. Oh. And his nails are nice and short, sweetie. So they're not gonna hurt while he eats. Hold on, cutie, you're not quite done. There you go, bud. Here, that one doesn't have a whole lot of milk. Let's go with one that's just loaded with milk. There we go. These hind nipples, um, they fill up with a lot of milk really fast. They refill really fast. Um, but the milk is also a lot thicker. It's got a lot more fat content in it. And so, unfortunately, um, they also happen to be like the more difficult nipples to use because the boobs themselves are so much bigger. Um, but so when whenever we have like an underweight puppy or a puppy that we want to get like full nutrients or we just need like every little last edge we can get, We'll put them on these hind, on the hind boobies. And the milk that you'll find up here is, you know, tends to be more thin. Um, just doesn't have as much fat content. All right, we've got one more foot and then we'll all be, oh my goodness, she's still pooping. She's still pooping, I guess mama does know. Here, Remy, get what's coming out of her butt. Hey, get what's coming out of her butt. There you go. It's okay, Daisy. It's okay. So sweet. Come here. Uh, I know. Oh, you want to come help, but we got to let Remy. We got to let Remy mom her babies, okay? Once she gets real, once she gets real good, then you can come out and help. I brought Daisy down to meet the puppies, you know, the first couple of days, and she got so engrossed in helping. She's coming over and snuggling them, and, like, I think somebody even said in the chat, like, she's going to walk away with one of those puppies, and we just won't even notice. Um, and so, but what was happening was Daisy would come over, Remy would be nursing the puppies, and Daisy would potty them all while Remy was nursing them, and so Remy didn't have to potty them or poop them. She would just lay there and sleep through it. Um, which was actually kind of nice that that first like morning when um, when Remy had been up all night like, delivering, and so she got some good sleep. <laughs> but Daisy took her Daisy took her her task very seriously, and um, almost seems to feel a personal responsibility to them when they, they cry for for Remy. So we've had to. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sorry, you're following cutie. We just got one more foot to get here. But I can't get to it with your head in the way. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to clip some nails. Blueberry is still really fussy out. I clipped his nails already and I was going to snuggle him once I was done with everybody. Mm -hmm. Would you mind like, sitting with him and snuggling him? Because he's happy being snuggled. But like, I don't want him to keep fussing and being real active and not getting any sleep and then start losing weight because he's yeah. running around and crying and using up all this energy that he can't really afford to use up. So. So I was going to pull him out and snuggle him to kind of settle him down. And, um, he needs to eat a little bit more, though, because his he digested since eating last and it's not as full. Oh, Remy. Hey, you didn't eat the foods, were you? Blueberry, it's okay, buddy. You can sit in my lap. While we wait for dad. Is he stinky? Yeah. My hands are cold. Let's see what it's called. Oh, I didn't mean to bump you in the head. 
Are you hungry? I Another thing I've been working, I was trying to, it's like before I sat and snuggled him, I wanted to give him a good feeding so that he was full. Come on, baby. So hopefully he would go to sleep. Come on. Come on. Lay down. Lay down. I feel like he's crying because he needs a nap. It's like, I'm so tired. Because he, he lay down and settled and went right to sleep when, um, when he was on Ronnie's neck and then he fussed and she sat up and then that was that. All right, this cutie patootie is done. All right, cutie. It's okay, bud. Just chill. Just relax and suck. <laughs> Kiwi is so docile. Come on, be quick. Look like a boy. Look like a boy. Good boy. <laughs> oh, I love him. Mm -hmm. Kiwi. Yeah, he's like, I think he he like he's not very like vocal and out there, and so he doesn't get noticed a lot, like he's not the center of attention very mm -hmm. much. He's so darn docile. He's the observer. He's the quiet observer. He's the quiet, the quiet one that hangs back and watches. Yeah. Kind of like how many was. Mm hmm Yeah. He's a good boy. He's such a good boy. Good boy, boo. Is he eating? Mm -hmm. Good boy. He's really cooperating. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Kiwi is full. Maybe if we get more on, she won't be. She looks awfully full. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Kiwi. Is that cutie? Mm -hmm. Feel it, and like it's empty. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. You don't feel it. I feel. Maybe it's I mean, nobody's, really, nobody's nursed in a while. Open, schnoozing, schnoozing. Except peanut still got a pretty full belly. Peanut butter. Oh, I don't mess around. Peanut yeah. butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Stop trying to take his nipple. Kiwi. We talk to them like they're toddlers yeah. that we can reason with. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Kiwi. Yeah, it's right there. That's a big old finger lick. Finger lick nipple swipe. Because <laughs> he was like not even paying attention or trying to do anything. And then I put a little, put a little spit on put my nipple. A little nipples, spit on there. A little dye spit on it. And he was then, ah, give it to me. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, I'm Mr. Duclon.
trying to snuggle. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to switch sides. And he's like, I just want to snuggle in your elbow. I just want to snuggle my face into the elbow. Oh, the good boy. I love you. You're the good boy. I forgot which foot I did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I was trying to switch him from to the same. You're a good boy. Good boy, no worries. There we go. Everybody's okay. What a good boy. Oh, he is a very, very snuggly boy. Mr. Damn. Pino, I know. He's just like, um, oh, you're warm and I'm cozy. So can we just stay this way? <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> he's so cozy at one point now. Mm-hmm. He's like, stop touching me. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that at all. He's all like, he's all wrapped up in a fetal position too, with his legs up and crossed. You can, uh... Yo, Yo we go. I don't, I'm not hungry. I just want to snuggle my mommy in a warm spot. And then he's like, but first, I need to potty you. Alright, I just need to Oh, he does not like that. Oh, yeah, he pooped. Oh, man, I stripped on his tail. Oh, no. <laughs> <Indoor> food. <laughs> Come on, baby, you gotta get that thing. I'm not saying that much. Oh boy. A squirter? Yeah. It's the squirters. I'm gonna go get the pine. What's that? Pretty soon we should go get the pines so that we're doing it over the pine. Yeah, we should. They're, the puppies are just old enough where we start potty training them. And so we, we start by doing what, what Drew's doing, just like this. Um, but we have the pine pellets underneath them. And kind of like before and during, we make sure they're, they're smelling the pine pellets. Um, and then once they start bearing weight and they can stand up, then we stand them in the pine pellets and we have my potted them kind of from behind. Um, because in a couple of weeks, they'll start leaving the nest to go potty. You can see like the spots where she missed and they pottied and pooped kind of, you know, in the middle here. Um, but not even a couple of weeks, probably like a week, they'll start, you'll notice that they'll start leaving to potty and poop. And so what we want to do is have them wanting to find that pine. I'm going to go get some wipes. Wipe his little tail. Hey, down here, baby. Right here. Yeah, we did. I wasn't worried about her trying to get her to clean it up because it's difficult that much. Somebody just you take the baby wipes? I just get a wet, I just do the wet, wet towel. There's the wet towel that I used for the other puppy okay. around somewhere. Oh, but you know what? There was poo all over it afterwards. Yeah. It's in my hamper. Wait, what are you doing? Heidi, no, lay down. I really guess my thing's going. You are very vocal about everything. Good, bad, indifferent. Do you have poop? 
you're, you're acting like you're gonna be a turd here. Oh, machine gun over here. Oh, my. Oh, wait, you did put one. Jeez Louise, pup. He's like, looks like you guys have it. Yeah, it's got this thing there, so I'm gonna get out of here. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> can I help you? You're a good boy, Warren. Remy, where'd you go? Remy. Remy. Make a boy. Trimmy. What are you doing right there? Trimmy. Oh, she does that. She doesn't do anything bad. Don't stink her. She's so weird about this. She will hop out of the pool to do a detour underneath our bed for no reason. She just goes under there for like two minutes and then comes out. But she does it every day like clockwork. Like, I don't know if she's got like a little um, hidey hole under there where she's like hiding, you know, how they'll hide things where you can't see it. Now she's scratching the floor. But I mean, she's under the bed. It's not like she has room to, you know, do much. You're doing such a great job. I know. You're almost done. You're almost done. You're just a silly with some extra food claws. That's all. Got yeah, these guys. These ones are good. These are meant for skin. They're, they're, oh. Yeah, they're like hand sanitizing wipes. I just, well, the only thing I worry about isn't Remy looking at. Right. Oh my. Snowflake, it's your turn. See the best friends. <laughs> She, between her and Peanut, they are the most docile. Yeah. She and Peanut are yeah, just chill. Yeah, like you can't get a whole lot more docile. Oh, she's like, she's like there Theo, you are. she's a limp puppy. Come on. Limp puppy. Oh. You finally had to say some joiners? Mr. Docile. Mr. Docile. Miss Docile and Mr. Docile. It's okay. Come on. Hey, Remy, come on, baby. Your puppies are... You haven't eaten in a minute, yeah, Remy. They look... are hungry. They are looking for you. Come on. It's been a little while since everybody's been piled up and feeding. Is the heating pad on? Um, you can check it. Check it Is there someone already feeding? It's on the always on sign. And you can just feel it. Whip. I don't think I have access to it. I think it's on your side. No, it's not over. Oh, it's under. There it is. Are you? Oh, it is on. At three. Huh. I feel. Kind of though. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Blueberry. Mr. Blueberry, let's get you back on another nip. This whole nip. Oh, I had put him earlier on her good back boob, and he really seemed to enjoy that. Yeah, he likes the ones. Um, not, the, not the double nipple one, this one. You put her I'm on this one? I'm on this one, yeah. So I'm looking for one that's like a little bit 
four. Yeah, that's that size that's usually. Yeah. They kind of they forget about the, the other sides because I have these many nipples. Oh boy, right there. Come on. It's like leaking, but come on. Come on, boy. Come on. That's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Oh. Come on. You are so silly. Mouth on it, you silly goose. There you go. That's the boy. Did you hear her sigh? Who? Snowflake. No. She was like, <laughs> We done. You are such a sweetie. Oh my goodness. She reminds me so much of Minnie. He, well, like, it, what's weird is, like, when she was first born, I was thinking that, and it's like her personality has mm -hmm. been, is followed right along. You're so dainty. I want to be so gentle with you. I got his mouth open up wide enough, and I kind of like with one finger pushed his head onto it. Yeah. Could it be like peanut, just getting cozy? No. Lay down. Lay down, baby. Oh, Paris. Why do I always call her Paris? <laughs> they look too much alike. Let's get her. Uh -huh. She's really oh, my stupid watch is going on. For me, it's going on. It's, my watch is right here, and so it's vibrating. Is someone calling you? But no! It's just a notification. No! Lay down. Lay down. I just don't want to interrupt her. It's on. I know. He's still on it. He's still on it. Good boy. Um, cutie, I don't think you need to eat again. <laughs> you are very sweet. You are very lovable. Yes, you are. But what you don't need is another meal. <laughs> Not right now, anyway. Oh, did you lose it, Blueberry? So I was thinking sweet. Oh, oh, you're so sweet as yes, you are. Yes. Where are you going, Blue? Blueberry. Blueberry, you missed it, bud. You missed it. Let's back over here. This is your buddy. That is your buddy. Come on. Bye, cutie. This one is reserved. Uh, Mr. Boo Mary.
lay down, baby. Just lay back. Relax. Everybody's got freshly trimmed toenails now. It's great. That puts us ahead by three days. Because <laughs> we usually need to trim their toenails like every couple days. Three days usually. Usually by day four, they're starting to get long and they start, um, if we let it go too long, um, like if we start, if we go like five days between clipping their nails, they'll scratch up her belly real bad. Like it'll, like they'll be able to scratch her to the point where she'll bleed. And so, you know. We don't want that to happen. If you've ever breastfed a baby and had them bite you, you can kind of have an idea what that's like. So we don't want that to happen to one. And not as docile now that mom's cleaning off your poop. Poor puppies, they always, moms always take their teeth so when they're cleaning, when they're pooping them, they take their teeth, they like pull their lips back and use their teeth, their like tops and bottoms together, and they grab at something, I'm not quite sure what, <laughs> but their little bum holes are always red afterward, and so I don't know if they're like picking at their fur, I don't know what they're doing, but Snowflake doesn't really like it. <laughs> He's a good girl. She looks so much like me. I can't get over it. And she just reminds me so much. It's not that she looks so much like her. She just reminds me so much of her. She's got the same docile sort of personality. Good job, Remy. Well, I think Blue is finally happy. Did he just really need to get that poop completed? Or? Uh, who? Blue. Blue, He's yeah. like finally happy because he had yeah. a huge dump earlier. Is it just that he had... Two giant dumps that needed to come He was just crapping. Who's upset now? Now Peanut? What's going on? You were so happy when I did your nails. What happened? Huh? What happened? What happened, buddy boy? Oh, <laughs> He just did his sigh and now he's relaxed and cozy. He just wanted to be held. What a good boy. Oh, oh I love them. You guys, mm -hmm. oh. I'm gonna turn them upside down. Mm. He's such a good boy. Oh no, Kiwi, no you, oh no. You go to mama. Hey, bud. Oh, Parrot. Rem Help if I got your name right. Remy. You left some more milk in there. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, I got an idea. Ooh, that my knee. <laughs> Knees are going bad. Oh, 
She's like, that little bit seems to just make a huge difference. Hey, where are you going? I don't know. She ran off when you got up. Dude, Daisy, did she go into the bed? Is that why you're sniffing? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's like, Daisy's tattling on Remy. What are you doing? What are you doing, Andrea? Huh? What's in the it's so cool. There's nothing underneath. I'm curious if she's got a hidey hole under there where she's storing things. Um, you remember how Daisy had a spot in her closet? Yeah. Did you want me to? Did you want me to? Come on, baby. 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 Come do you need to go outside? Go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Go outside. That can make anyone be out of sorts about who they're eating. <laughs> Come on. Not going to disagree with that one. Oh, Remy did a need. Remy's like, I need to go outside too. I got this little sling for Vienna. It's like a, so it's like a backpack sling, but it goes on your front. So it's got these straps and these go up over your shoulder. And so like when I take Vienna out anywhere, um, it's got these little zippers on the side. So it's already zipped down. But I just load her up right there. There's a little hole for her tail. And then a little a little seat for her bottom and then holes for her feet. This comes up, her arms come through here, and then her head, you know, right up the top. And with where it kind of fits, um, once you get it all, everything, um, all the buckles sized right. It's really, really nice. And um, I'm sure probably different breeds would respond differently to it, but our Cavaliers love it because I mean, like I joke that they they want to get so close to us that the only way they could get any closer is if they were to crawl up inside of us. And so they, um, Vienna and Rio, love this goofy little thing because we we I mean we can have our hands free, which is nice, but they're still like right up there, and they can turn their heads around and kiss us, and so it's really nice. But. It was really inexpensive. I think it was like 12 bucks on Amazon. So it's a nice hands-free way to, um, cause we, we live out in like a rural area. And so, um, like stores and gas stations, those places, the staff is always really nice and friendly. And so they never mind when we bring puppies through as part of like socialization, they actually come to kind of expect us to come through with puppies. And so having things like this is kind of nice, just, so that they know that they're contained and not going to be running around, but um, it's also very, okay. very uh, easy for us to, if we're trying to, right. if we're trying to like, you know, actually shop for something or pick something up and then you've got clip or, you know, poop bags or travel water dish, any of that stuff. Um, Remy has a thing for the small crate. I noticed that. Yeah. Why is she, whenever I put her outside, she goes running over there, and when I put her inside, she goes running over there. Like, yeah. What is that? I don't know. But maybe um, if we bring in the big crate in here to do the, the potty lessons, maybe she'll be happy in there? Oh, no, I was going to do it the way I did it before, so it just works so well. Oh, okay. Having the giant potty tray takes up a lot of space and it doesn't, it's for no reason. Whereas the way I did it with the last litter, the last couple of litters was I just had my little tray pellets and whenever I went to potty them, I just had the tray with me. 
and then did it over that. Instead of having the giant tray, I mean, because they don't use, like, we don't even touch most, like, three quarters of it. And then it is, there's not the constant pine scent when they're not pooping and peeing. Because that's the other thing is I wanted to be able to pull it away when they weren't doing it. Do you see what you Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. Um, Another sling we have that I wanted to show you guys. It's like a, um, the other one was a backpack one. And this one, it's kind of like a, this, the side purse or the side bag where you put it um, kind of like over your head. Um. But I don't like this one as much because they're not as contained and if they get like any kind of leverage or if you're, you have to have it just right. Like you have to have it, um, has to be like over your shoulder and then this part has to be like kind of on the back of your hip and then they're kind of like secured in there. But because they're only secure based on the way it's positioned on your body, me personally, I don't feel like it's the, um, it's a very secure or safe option. <laughs> I prefer the little backpack one where they're, um, they're buckled in, um, as opposed to this one.
You can see your babies. Put your food up. Is that the way? Go see your puppies. Go see your babies. You ever did this? Come, go see your babies. Go see, our babies. Go see your babies. Good girl. Um, I got a message from John saying that he's like, I accidentally grew up. Package, but Minnie loves these and they look like they'd go great on pizza. You <laughs> have <laughs> the package. You're a good girl. You want another? I want to give you another. Of course you do.
Uh, I go ahead. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take her since I've been so busy with a while and haven't seen her a lot. And then that's kind of a good opportunity actually for you to, since we don't have that long, it's a good opportunity for you to chat with people on the line. Yeah. <clears throat> did you move Remy around? Or did um, she do that? So, I mean, I came out of the bathroom, but you know, she was under the bed again, and so I brought her out, and then we got everybody locked on. Little Miss uh, Cutie is being a silly goose. I got her latched on. She, uh, oh, Blue has moved, Blueberry has moved himself around. He's kind of blocking Cutie now, but. Um, Cutie, I could hear her doing the gulping. I <laughs> love when they do this. When they latch onto yeah. one of these hind nipples and yeah. then they lay between their legs. They I know. Every, every litter, all of the puppies like take turns. This is one of the like cozy mm -hmm. spots that they all kind of fight over. Is this yeah, right. set up right here between mom's hind legs? Yeah, between mom's hind legs and the cozy warmth there. Because then you know they're um, snuggled up in her tail mm -hmm. back here. And so it's a really warm snuggling spot. And they don't have any puppies on the side. There's little things like that that we notice over time um, that like you really, you wouldn't know just like looking at them. Is, I'm not done with it oh, now. No. I kind of forgot about it for a while. Oh, okay. We're going to have to wash everybody up again, though, unfortunately, because I think we had some sort of poop, cat poop catastrophe during the night. <laughs> She's so silly. She's just sleeping. She's just sleeping under her mama's arm. It's like being hugged. Later, Jan. I'm not sure how long we sent that message, but if it was recent, I hope you're still on. We'll talk to you later. Give Missy, so, or Missy, give Minnie some squeezes and hugs for me and kisses. I think of her every time I pick up Vienna. Now that Vienna, Vienna's got, um, I'll have to bring her in so you can see how she's kind of, her markings are developing but um she has like some white coming out in her and so she's starting to remind me how Minnie looked um when she like before she left so because Vienna was really always really dark and now she's got some white fur that's poking through she's so pretty so I'll bring her over some point. But we think of you guys all the time. Say every day. Her eyes look like they're close to opening. I'm a bad predictor with eyes, though. Um, last couple of litters, I was thinking yeah, there were a couple of puppies that I had said were going to open eyes first, and one of them was actually the last to open. So I'm not a very good predictor with the eyes.
Seems like Blue Fairy is finally kind of like happy. It's like he does have colic. Poor little guy. It's probably a mistake putting um, a blue collar on a Blenheim puppy with that looks um, not an awful lot like Chance, but enough like Chance to make me think about, um, make me stutter on his name every single time I say it because I'm about to call him Chance. Yeah. I think if I don't like this, since it's iced coffee, vanilla iced coffee, if I heat up some water and put put, put warm water in it, if it would taste better just because it will taste like coffee. Or like maybe the other ones weren't as bad like as the
Hey, puppies. Who is crying and fussing over here? Hmm? Were you laying on someone? Looks like you laid down on somebody. <laughs>
Ryan here. I see. We'll see you in a little bit. Close here. We got about thirty-five more minutes until it's uh, reservation time. What are you doing? I mean, there. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Darn. That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy.
Actually, never mind. What you doing over here, Remy girl? Hmm? What you doing over here?
What's he doing, Sweet? What's he doing? Back to Mama. Sure. I got a text and goes on off. I said, Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hey, that's my turn to show you. Oh, gosh. Oh, that is gross. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh my god, you're disgusting. <laughs> Love you. Horror Love stories. You. Swapping horror stories. <laughs> You want a hidey hole? It's so little bit, so strange.
Who is that? Oh, is that little Mr. Blueberry? Pink Blueberry. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, goodness. Pink Blueberry. Oh, okay, everybody. Hey there. Um, so with oh, that's Becky. Um, we wanted to let everybody know um, that thank you so much for uh, sending us your text messages. Uh, we are going through them and going through uh, the choices and whatnot. And when the text messages came in, making sure we're kind of doing a, you know, making our list and checking it twice. Uh, but Elizabeth will be sending you a confirmation uh, text message, uh, letting you know uh, who you uh, ended up getting paired with or you know, who your, which choice you ended up getting. Um, so we had uh, probably about, 40 text messages come flying in. And so it's just, uh, you know, I would say that there's going to be, what is that? Um, so for every one puppy, there's going to be probably about five disappointed people. For uh, certain puppies, there are going to be lots more, <laughs> lots more disappointed folks. But uh, first three glance shows about um, half. Half yeah, more than half their first choices were the girls. Um, uh, uh, so it's just um, just a matter of looking at you know when they came when the text messages came in on uh, on the phone and going through that. So um, if you guys can just uh, sit tight, uh, you'll you will hear something uh, here here shortly. Okay. Hi, Anne. Hey, Anne. How are you? I hope you're doing okay. She says, hello. I'm thinking of you. Yeah. She says, uh, hello, RC, RBC Club. Yeah, and uh, Blueberry is now quiet because I was able to get him onto, uh, onto one of Mama's nipples. He's a happy boy now. Oh, my goodness. I need to, I need to wash this thing again. Any buffers? They are getting bigger and bigger. They're draining mama.
here. What was this? What's that? Just playing for my money. <laughs> Soon you can get it. We need gloves for her. Oh, I was going to do like small capsules. Mm -hmm. Little vitamins, vitamin capsules. I her, but I'm really enjoying, like I'm really appreciating not having to like worry about the 11 15 school bus, you know. Especially this week. Yeah, yeah. This is a great week to have fun like that. Because like these last three days, I feel like it's just been go, go, go since sun up. I guess we're like, you can be my moral support. That's <laughs> my emotional support for me. Oh, uh, yeah. As I take these up. Emotional support person. Yes. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what would you like? Before I start doing this stuff, I'll do this. Take a cup. Oh, yeah, that's how everything got done. We had coffee and croissants. Would you prefer steak?
little dispute over nipples. Or sleeping spots. You don't need to eat kiwi. <laughs> that belly. I smell puppy poop. Oh my, yeah, that puppy poop. Oh, lucky dog. You look cozy.
Well, I What's that? Open the door.
from Cambodia. What's up? Keep getting calls from Cambodia. Controlling the flow of the animals. We can kind of turn on and off, accepting um, new families into the weed pool. Oh. You know, like this, these families that you know, were to be giving a drink to the, you know, the next litter. Well, um, we won't add families to that pool. 
that's a good idea. Have a pool. So that way, um, the families who missed out on this little, they're not having additional family to add in the meantime to their bill. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah. Kind of like when we get Matthew into yeah. the program reserve program, mm -hmm. and then we had applications on for like two months out of the year. Yeah, that's a really good idea.
I can only really maintain these spots in my mind. I'm going to fly up to the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay. What just happens in this little quad? Yeah. Yeah. The difference is that they have.
implore the Ma's Lords. What's up? Implore the Ma's Lords. Oh. Uh, to get Side is like use.
and to adding our own jump set at the beginning. Do you guys, can you guys see him? He's just chilling in the food dish. Oh, darn, you can't. You gotta change that. Can't quite reach, but he's he's in the food dish. He's chilling in the food dish. Is he orange in the food dish over here? Oh, oh my goodness. Like he's in the food dish. Like the kibble is all up around his tail and stuff. He uh, wasn't in the food dish to begin with. My poor blue is all crank. Go, go. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I know. I was just. Okay. Thank 
of how is the locket right there? Let me cut the other kitchen right here. Say it again. I love the whole way walk in the back there and cut into the kitchen or cut into here. Right. right. Hush. It's really fun to deliver. I've had new sides. Um, but I do think that um, I think that like your whole tiered thing. Um, I'm just not sure how it would work. Like, do we just have um, would it be like you don't know what I'm talking about then? The only? Yeah. And so, like, she only, she only, her puppies would only know that. And so it's like a, okay. Maybe I have to. Uh, I'm gonna do one more and I'll be done. Daisy, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. 
Vamos a ver. So surprised at the um, variation in opinions of puppies. It was such a like I don't know if they even um yeah. I know they're like a favorite boy. Yeah, that was pretty uh interesting. It was so like it was I mean they're all really really cute, that's probably why. Yeah. They're all very sweet. Which way are you there, little? Orange is becoming my favorite because he's oh he's so pretty, and he like fits in your hands so nicely. He cozies up in you. He cozies on up. Yeah. Aww. Man, Snowflake has gotten huge. She's so much bigger than she used to be. Snowflake. Yeah. They look like two eagle puppies. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they don't look like one eagle puppies. They do not look like one eagle puppies. That is for certain. You keep eating, sweetie. You need all the calories you can dig in. Oh, you know what? Maybe I got happier after I gave him a score to that stuff. He did. It, well, and all of his making noise and whatnot. That was yeah. him. And then I put him onto a nipple and he just went to town. So, yeah, maybe. Every morning, we give him a shot of that. I told my mom that we had one of them. She was looking forward to this visit, looking for her. Which is usually like at this point of the visit, she's like, oh, I'm not looking forward to this one. Yeah. She said that, um, uh, she was like, really? I was just in the middle of the night and Carter would be watching things on TV that I couldn't see. And then, yeah, I just, I just kind of feel like it. And, um, after a while, I didn't like it. And we were working, and I was just like, hey, you know, I told you about things that just, you know, grow up and they don't bother you as much, and you're like, How did you do that? It's like if you're growing up, <laughs> she started smiling. Like, this is what it feels like. You just suddenly just don't care. Oh, poor oh, Single girl. You <laughs> good little girl. I'm sorry the light was off. <laughs> <laughs> what? She just like ran into your hand, like snap first. <laughs> uh, oh, and I tried to grab my marble. Yeah. Well, you were like, you were like turning away, and your hand was still in your purse, and she like, <laughs> it's like she didn't want to give up being. Oh, petted. like yeah, she was forcing me to pet her. Yeah. Oh, that's the. <laughs> she's went like right here. Yeah. She looked really fun. You're my baby. Last night though, it was it was like it was three o'clock in the morning and like I was not happy that I heard them chewing on something, but it was hilarious when I like sat up real fast and they both like froze and like popped their heads up. Yeah, you're supposed to be in bed at that time. That's Betty by time. Yeah, they were and Mommy supposed to be for babies. What are you guys doing sneaking out of the house late at night? Yeah, exactly. You sneak out of the house and garbage picking? What's that about? They were, they were in this. Yeah, that's what she was in. And so they were, like, I hear this. Oh my god. That's <laughs> she, yeah. She thinks it's a I don't even know what's in here that she's she's going after. It's probably, is it just the noise? Are you playing with it? Like the cradle toy? Oh, there's something. That, something smells good in here. Oh, weird. Steak. 
No, it looks like it was like a, a candy wrapper at one point was in there, and then the dryer sheets right here. That's something they go after. Yeah, I just thought it was funny though because they were both like. It's pretty. There's crinkle crunching, and then their heads popped up when I said, like, oh, No. No. You can take Rommel at Remy. No. Come on, Remy. Come on, Remy, girl. Come on, baby. Come over here. Come on, Remy. Come on, Remy. You don't have the stairs. Yeah, there is. Oh. Come on, Remy. Come on, baby. That's a good girl. That's a good rabbit dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Who is the best? Who is the best? Huh? Who is the best? You want to come sweetie? She's like, where's the scissors? Where's the scissors? Ooh. Ooh. Are you gonna go see your babies? Easy. Easy. Come here. Easy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Easy. Come here. 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 Wait. That wasn't a very long see your babies. Wait. No. Do you want to go outside? Do you want to run around? Wait. No. You just want to come up here. Go pooper. You want to go pooper. For some reason that sound makes me so stressed. Hey, come on. Go outside. Go outside. Come on.
She went straight outside into the park. Can she come back? Like, she probably come in now. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. You want to be down by the feet? Okay.
Gosh, our house sounds like a frat house. What's that? Our house sounds like a frat house with the kids in the basement. I know, it does. Wow, so you know the person the you know how they're you know we matched up with the to a family and there was that last family that squeezed in the six. I went back to look at the text times to see what time their text actually came in. And it was still thirteen hundred. Oh, so, like those first six, that's they all they were all in the first right, right at one. Jeez, it is. It's just good that it's like you can order them, that's right? That's why I like to like, keep it in order because it's got it to the second. No, I'm good, thanks. Oh, I bet Thank you for letting her sleep in bed for forever. <laughs> I love the sleep on her. I love it. I love it. She's like, such a silly stinker. <clears throat>
I see him flex every time he does that. Yeah, a little. What in the world? I don't know what their deal is. He doesn't seem hungry.
You looked a little lost. <laughs> He's a good girl.
Yes. Do you guys think two flavors already? No. We just had one flavor. Oh, it's one. Yeah. Okay. Where are they at? They're on the top shelf in the um pantry. Okay, thank you. Only grab one that has a double to it, okay? Let me help it. Yeah, some of them are caffeinated too, Dad, so just make sure. What's that? Some of them are caffeinated so, too, so just double check the package. Oh, okay. so no, no, no caffeination? Well, I, I'm just saying, like, when you're looking at them, if you're trying to figure, like, this is a good one for Bella, or this is a good one for... We don't want to get Bella to No, we don't want that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like, just when you're... Because those little ones that are good for Bella, but for the good feeling. Yeah, I agree. I will do a
Remy. Don't tear up your bed.
Remy. That's right, baby. You want to eat in here from the kitchen? What? Yeah, so. Come on, baby, you're gonna come down now. You lay down. You need to go to your puppies. What are you barking about, little guy? This little boy.
Bella wants to FaceTime when I get back to the camper. So I told her to call my phone. So I can FaceTime so it's important. So it's sleepy, so it's sleepy. Oh, okay. Okay, all right,
Easy. Thank you. 
You want to show everybody? Tighten this up a little bit. <laughs> she got um, one of those bubble blowers. Oh. And it's Little Mermaid. It's Little Mermaid. <laughs> Hi, Bella Bella. <laughs> oh, you look like you're having so much fun. I'm yeah. freezing cold and you're there in your t shirt. <laughs> She's awesome. Yeah, we started out with a jacket on in the morning and took it off about the first hour. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it's still okay. Here. Oh, my baby, come on, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many bubbles. Oh, my goodness. That is really cool. That is super cool. Did you get that with your money? <laughs> oh, is that yours? That's her baby. That. Oh, I love it, Bella. Oh. <laughs> Just the lights and the music. Ooh, fun. She's a good dancer. She is a good dancer. Oh, oh, she went down. <laughs> you okay, sweetie pie? Oh. You okay? She's a tough girl. Oh, yeah. you're, so, you're so brave. You are strong. You are so strong. Hey. I love that, Bella. You, you want to show all that? Right. Yeah, informational and whatnot. It was about imagination and using your imagination. She really likes that. Cool. Oh, yeah. What does your guys' campsite look like? What have you guys got behind you? Okay. Well, back there is, is one of the major streets where you can drive your, uh, your, you can see some, some people in there. Yeah, and their golf carts. Oh. And I'll just swing around. This is the one next door. Oh. Oh, and you've got some privacy trees. Yeah. And then go up this way. That's across the way. That's cool. Man. I miss our motor home. You oh. are camper. Very cool. Very nice. Yeah, can you can you turn the bubbles off? Because it's kind of hard to hear you, baby, when the music's playing. When the music's going, they can't hear you. Oh, okay. I don't think she can see us very well. Let me turn some lights. I don't want to do overhead lights. Let's just knock another round.
honey, lay down. It's okay, sweetie. Show me right there. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Yeah, I think Kiwi's looking for you, sweetie. Come here. I mean, that's good.
Remy, that's good. Good girl. Good girl. Lay down. Remy, that's good. Lay down. Remy, lay down. Lay down. That's not what I meant by leaving out for me. I'm so silly. She's a good girl. Remy, Remy, hey, sweetie. Yeah. 
It's okay, Naomi. These are just my boots. It's okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I'm actually. Oh, okay. Is that? Oh, the bowl is empty. The bowl is empty. Remy dog. Yeah, that's going to get you some tasty, tasty food for the Remy dog. Let's fix your bed. Such a good girl. I love you. You're a good girl. You lay down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What this? You have a blanket? Wow. Good girl. Yes. Is that nice? A blanket? How's that? Is that better? Is that better? There we go. Yes, Daisy, you're a good girl too. Yeah, it's getting food.
Daisy. Okay. What? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Maybe. Oh, you move that way. Yeah, that's not your food. Your food's over there. This is not your food, sweetie. Come here. There you go, baby. Are you looking for treats, though? Is that what you're looking for? I put this blanket down for her and she like rolled onto her side like I had just given her some sort of like magic sort of mattress. <laughs> it's a orthopedic. No, no, no. Hermie, here. Wait right here. Your babies. Squish your babies. Squish your babies.
Yeah, they're fine. It's fine. It's just being loud. I'm going to need to tell you. So she went to me and she said that you were really, really wonderful. She said that you talked to her, that you, um, you know, swore, she swore you to secrecy that you um, would be examining her and um, contact her employees. Oh, yeah. And, um, uh, and I was worried that it was even good for her to get fresh perspective. You know, because she can be, she always knows how I'm going to be. Um, and especially if it's something that's just going to upset me, it's not going to be productive. Right. And so I just wanted to tell you how much it means to me and how much it meant to her. Good. Yeah, I remember it was not. I remember it was not. Yeah, don't tell me. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> not to like see cars leaking around like that, because it was just him being a stupid. Well, she is one of your biggest critics, so if she was complimenting the way you handled it and how much it helped her, um, I don't really care what it is. Uh, I just, I hope that um, it's not being, like it's being, not that you're telling her, but that something is being said about yeah. whatever behavior yeah. he's doing. Ever since that happened, you know, like three days ago, every evening I'm trying to turn over to tell you keep forgetting. Well, thank you for letting me know that it was like you know, she, you know, she came and found me and you know, she was, I think that she was. It was really nice because um, she, you know, to go to the event. For some reason, I don't know if it's because of the same age, but when her it gets like that with her, I get really religious. I mean, of course, my imagination is running wild. It's, uh, it is not, it is not too bad. I mean, it, it hurt me in the moment, but I also won't talk to her about it and reframe the way she was thinking about it. That was what. <laughs> but so it, that, let's not, uh, yeah. I mean, it's just going to make me, yeah. sir, so I want to, I want to. My only concern is that what makes me sad is that she doesn't like write anything like that she won't come to me because she's working hard. Um, get a fucking car or an old paper car because it just bothers me. Oh. She feels that way. She didn't want to do it. I said, I guess I didn't want to say, she doesn't trust me enough to say that it is. That it is. Well, maybe she, if she, if she expects you to be a good girl, you're more for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, doesn't, she doesn't She doesn't trust that she can say, can you do not say anything? Oh, oh, I see what you're
was hurt or her father.
Sí,
get the gems. What'd you say, Joe? Huh? What'd you say? I said I want to get the jammies. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Thank you. 
It's so cute how you like right there. It's such a sweet spot. Even sweeter would be with your babies, though. <laughs> Daisy, oh, me and Daisy are black and white. You're black and white, yeah. <laughs> Aw, Daisy. We're twinsies. So I got brown hair. Yeah, I'm a tricolor. Yeah, yeah, you're a tricolor right now. That's too funny. Oh my god, we're turning into a dog, people. God, us oh, from 10 years ago would be making so, so much, much fun, fun of, of, us. of us now. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, the people like, that make are such losers. Make their, Blueberry climbed over them. Aww. A little mountain climb. <laughs> that one's pretty funny about his hand. He's not like directly on anyone. <laughs> That's nerves. She used to press on me. Wow. So I didn't know she wants to be with her. Realize there's no like much more to this stuff. Thank you. 
still see them. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, so let's go. Let's go. What are these two? And it's funny how Kiwi and Cutie are stalled up the way they are. They're like. She's her, she's her, she's her, she's her, she's back.
and then, oh, man, ew. You have a wet wipe? Oh, did she have yeah, some wound? She's kind of at that like phase where she like the milk production plateaus. <laughs> <laughs> you and all of these menstruating women. Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, Judy, don't care. Daisy Doodle. Come on, Call Molly's puppy back for you. It's funny, it's like I look at the monitor, and it reminds me some of um, our original streams when we had them on mute all the time, mm -hmm. and the, the poor quality of the picture and how dark it was. Yeah, and we just had the pink pool and I covered with everything. Right. Baby, you and the puppy color. Why do you see it? She's loved. It. Oh, I know why. Because they're covered in puppy poop and pee. Uh, that's why she's eating them. Yeah, that's why she's picking them up and. Looking, she went um, enjoying them like beef jerky. Yeah. She's like, hey, wait, bring that back. I, I really like that. I like that snack. That's why she's taking that. Um, and that trash. that trash. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, 
everyone is in Jenkins. Hey, yeah, that's good. Oh, I thought they were like doing dishes. Should go out there and look. Do they do that? Should go look at the kitchen. Do they do the kitchen? Yeah. I'm just making sure that wasn't you. That's all. I would love to. I would love to go see it. Yeah, like it's uh, I had to primarily fill a plate. Yeah, I figured. So you bring that you clear out the whole island. The counter to the right, the same. Uh, he's upset. He's upset now. Oh, uh -huh. Kiwi, are you not happy? Or is that Snowflake? Snowflake isn't happy. Come on, something on that one. Thank you. Beauty, you have had quite enough. Do you remember where Kelsey is from? I do not. Kind of thing. It's all of the columns are like in the middle of the night. And so, um, and she's never like usually active in the line. And so, um, I'm curious if she can watch it on the replay. Huh, I don't know where she's from. Oh, well, no, I take that back. She, you know, um, she's on the West Coast. I remember her telling me, she started describing like what kind of. Ah. Uh, during mom's delivery. I guess we're just not delivery. We're streamed we're laboring on me. Yeah. I shouldn't have read that actually. Oh, you know what we didn't think to do, Drew, since we didn't stream the rest of the puppies? We didn't get pictures of them as they came out. Because right. when we're not streaming the delivery, that's what we do. Yeah, right. I mean, they look busy and stuff. Yeah.
Um, I to go finish eating the dinner. <laughs> And I think she is actually. I start doing the thing where I conk out and get my like, roughhouse me into sitting up. Like, no, I might conk out. Oh, no, no, okay. Or I've been up since like 3 o'clock. Missouri. You've been up, I said 4 30. 4 30. This morning. Yeah. This in such a way because she's only brown up top with my hair. <laughs> like an eyebrow. I mean, I can take that. I don't know. There's just on her butt. I don't think I have any brown on my butt. <laughs> <laughs>
she's like, I'll sit with you, Mom, but I'm going to stare down Dad. <laughs> How was your pie? Delicious. I'm sorry, I should have offered you a bite. No, go ahead. <laughs> I'm so, I'm, God, I'm so inconsiderate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am like bad. not in my head right today, it's, okay? I swear. Bad. I'm like emotionally spent. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. I love you for being so awesome. <laughs> So it makes me feel even worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome, I know. <laughs> it's just that you're just so like, no, it's okay. You enjoyed it. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, can you give me a beat and a bite? <laughs> I'm happy that it made you happy. <laughs> Although, I can, yeah. Basically, you really enjoy it. Like, yeah. really, that's a, especially in the message. I like it in edits. The only thing that I wish that I could have made it better is when you gave me ice cream with it. Aww, that's uh, romantic. Well, I love you. Aww. Aww. Mm. I popped my earpods in, and what yeah. tonight's are playing. Guys. That was pretty smooth. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Using my brain power. <laughs> oh, man.
so I just want to So cozy on the blankets, I gave her. Good. Also, that she had stopped digging at the that one. No. Oh, the god, you please. <laughs> Thank no. you, Dino. Come back here. How do you have one of my hair types? Davy. Is that going to be for your boy? She won't have anything, Mom. <laughs> See, I know he's putting away. You got treats earlier. You got more treats than you guys. That's too sweet. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. Love you.
What's up? It's German. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's like the, uh, the back of the 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 uh, call letter or whatever. Uh -huh. um, she said that she would have left this. Oh. <clears throat> and so, um, like she retired. I've given you, I keep you go over this all the time. I, I let you, I let you think through it and I don't know what you do with it. And I, I, I don't have more come out of me. No, I, don't know, it well. I don't know what you do with it. What do you do with it? Where, where it is it? It goes wherever you put it. I use them. And then yeah, so I don't I don't have more. I only get what would I buy or I use what I buy. Is it, is okay. I've given it all to you. <laughs> Do you want to, I mean, like, are you completely out? Do you need some? No. Uh, like, right now? Not right now. Not right now. Well, we need someone else. I've got plenty of this. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's a funny, but like when we go to the shops.
six or seven. What'd you say? I said I wonder if it's the wind that's upsetting them. Oh.
sit here. Keep her alone. See, what do you, what are you trying to get? What do you need? What are you trying to get?
Be brother.
Downstairs, go for the home and wrap it up. Back to the back of the hospital or something like that. Right. Um, Carter. Yeah, I see why he's not telling me because Carter's just treating everybody like all the girls. They're all down there playing and sleeping. I'm just seeing a little upset and I heard him. I heard it. Didn't you hear him? When it happened? Well, he was angry and hit whatever. No, it was like, ow, when it happened. I was like, oh my god, I'm just going to hurt. Right. 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 He was more pissed off because uh, Carter didn't want to show us the music video, the part of the music video. Showed it to us, and he was really angry about that. That's what he was really pissed off at us about. He was pissed off at them for not wanting to show us what they were working on. She's been after my ever. Oh, dang it.
No. Thank <laughs> you.